This video will show you how to go in and check your submissions for either discussions, assignments, or quizzes in your courses. So I'm going to go into a class. And at the top of the screen inside of a class, you have what they call the nav bar. And in the nav bar, you're going to click on class progress. Okay, and what you can do is you can drill down what you've clicked on, what you've done through discussions and assignments here. But it might be easier to come over here, click on discussions on the left. That will list out all the discussions that are in the course, and you will see how many um, posts you have read in the discussion, how many threads you've created, and how many replies you've made inside the discussion. Okay, so you can see down here that they've gone in, but they didn't read anybody's, but they did reply, or they created a thread with one main post, and then they replied to two other posts in the discussion. If you don't see anything listed in here, if it's listing a zero, that means you haven't participated in that discussion yet. All right, for assignments, when you click on assignments, again, any assignments that you're being graded on in the course or listed in the course, you can see right here, this one here is showing that one submission was made and the grade was 60.5 out of 100. And it gives you the due date of the assignment. If you open up this details, you'll be able to view the rubric and see what submission you made and the date and time that it was submitted. So I'm going to go in and read or do the look at the view rubric. And I'll be able to see um, how I was graded based on the rubric. So you can see here where I've gained or lost points in my rubric. So I'm going to go ahead and close the rubric. All right. And you can also double check the file you submitted. So if you click on the file name, it actually downloaded the file so you can actually look at it there. Okay. Um, this one here has been submitted as well, showing the grade. And again, we have details. Okay. Now this one has inline feedback, which means that the, it's been marked up actually on the page. So if I click on the inline um, grading, Okay, so depend on your internet will depend on how quick it loads. Okay, so this here is showing I, the instructor circled this and they highlighted some text over on the side and wrote something out. And I don't see any other markups on any of the other pages, but it would show up like in this different colors and stuff. This is a PowerPoint. If it was a document, it would be the same thing. You could see things crossed off, things, things marked, and any feedback that the instructor had written on the page. Okay. Um, now down here, you can see that this one says a file was submitted and I can see the details at this point. It hasn't been graded yet, so there's no grade on it yet. But the rest of these, it's not showing any submission. So these ones have not been done. Number five's been done. So I could actually open up the details and see what file was submitted. Right now it hasn't been graded, so there's no grade off to the right yet. Okay, so that they've been graded, it shows you the grade here, and then you can also go in and look at the rubric and the file and stuff. Okay, so that's the, um, for the assignments, and then quizzes. It's going to list out all your quizzes. All right, so at this point, you can see here this one, I missed this one. So there's zero attempts. This one was submitted and I did two attempts and my highest grade was 100 between the two attempts. If I open it, I can actually go in and I can actually view. It depends on what the instructor has set out for you. So this one here, if I look at it, I can open up the attempt. I can see that I got zero on the attempt there. And I can see what I marked 
Okay, and I can see how I marked them all wrong. All right, and then if I go into attempt two, I can see it's telling me it was done successfully and it was 100%. Okay, so I'm going to go black, uh, back to class progress again. Okay, so it all depends on what the instructor is using in the course, whether you, they're using discussion assignments or quizzes in the course. And, um, and like I said, it's easier to probably go into each one of these and see what you've done and what you haven't done. Okay, and, and there you can view your grades, you can view the feedback, you can view any rubrics associated with each one of them. Okay, so um, that's how you can view what you've completed in the course that's on, based on submissions and assignments.